just a short note. I'm editing my video now, but it's gonna be a long one. Or for me, the longest one I made. So I will divide it into chapters, so you know what. If you want to listen to it, you can hear it. If you don't want to, you can skip it. So it would be pretty easy if you, yeah, don't uh, don't want to talk about bacteria and all that stuff. You can just skip it. So yeah, just a small warning. It's gonna be a long video. Welcome back uh, to the channel and a new video. So today we are going, I'm going to show you what I have been up to the last week. And we are going to talk about some products. Yeah. So let me spin you around and show you what I have been up to. So I finished uh, my decking. As you can see, and I made my sump. Oh, soak away what you would call it. So, all the water from um, from my drum filter is going into into this, and all the water from I use when I clean the nexus and easy part and that stuff goes into here. And the plan is, it should go all the way down to the IPCs I have down there. I haven't built that yet, so it's just going into the drain. So, But the plan is to run the hose down to the IPC tanks because then I can use the water for my garden. So that's the plan. And now let's have a look at the air pumps. So I built a cover for my air pumps. And we can see if I can take it off. Like that. Like that. And here we got all my air pumps. I fixed all the wiring so it looks pretty good. But yeah, now it's uh, protected from the elements, rain. Snow, frost, whatever. I just, yeah, made some some kind of luck, some wooden pieces. Yeah, it works. But and I got a plan for my SOC pump. Ah, but yeah, we're going into the fill house. This is, it's freezing in Denmark today. It's pretty cold. So let's go into the third house. So the plan with the SLC pump is I need to fix all these uh, wirings from to the main pond. And what I will do is I will drill some some four inch holes, three or four four inch holes in the wall, and put some uh, fans on on the holes and blow the hot air from my fill house into the back of the SLC pump to hopefully get some better performance on the SLC pump. So that's a product for the upcoming or for this week. And yeah, but that is actually what I've been up to the last week. Uh, fixing the, um, yeah, the sump and the air pumps and the wiring and that stuff and I actually used a uh, got an old tablet for my uh, yeah you can have a look so I can control all my uh, my outlets from the screen I got uh, for the valves to the water change I can press can't do it with gloves on, but yeah, I can press this one. It's gonna turn off uh, the first valve, so 
the two uh, auto top up systems can top up the pumps. And I got a bottom for feeding, so it turns off the air bar and turns on the air bar to the uh, to the skimmer guard, so the uh, food doesn't go into the skimmer. And that's that is set for around uh, 30, 45 minutes, and then it's switches around again so yeah pretty nice pretty nice i love that yeah the only thing i actually need to do is fix this mess of wiring i got my um, my cable trace over here that i should use to that so we can get something that looks like this because that looks awesome and the grow on yeah it's just running perfect they eat a lot of food so yeah i actually need to top up the uh, the auto feeder today and i can turn this on for yeah that's for vince the grumpy flamingo so the products I will show you is um, something I have been using since yeah actually since I started this pond and yeah some I actually used this I used um, to help with my um, bacterial issues I got yeah, some years ago um, so that's the first product we're gonna take a look at and the second is uh, these mineral in one it's a mix of minerals to add into the water that fish and plants and that stuff takes out so we keep the um, keep a good and healthy balance in, uh, in the pond and the third product is uh, this green control it's yeah it's in the name it controls the green stuff the algae uh, again good stuff and i think that's that's why i yeah i never have never seen any kind of uh, blanket weed never i never have had an issue never seen them I only yeah, touched on uh, green wall and I got some algae covering, covering the, um, the shower and uh, my fiberglass. But yeah, that should be the, that's, that's the good stuff. And the last one is a, uh, this Active Bio Mix. It's a um, mix of uh, photosynthetic uh, bacteria and uh, lacto acid bacteria. So yeah, let's go into it. So the first product is this uh, Bio Bio from uh, Air Aqua. And yeah, it's actually a, a mix of uh, good bacteria that will fight off um, bad bacteria. And it's developed in uh, South Africa in a lab. Um, yeah, let me see. It's a um, highly concentrated bacteria with um, a bacteria count that of more than one million per gram. So we have one million bacteria per gram of this. Um, And the way they reduce the, um, the bad bacteria is because they, they eat the same food. So when you chuck this in every week, you will, these bacteria will take the food from the bad bacteria. And there is some, uh, there's actually, you can scan the QR code down here. Just let me hold them up. If you scan the QR codes, you can uh, 
actually get uh, scientific data about Baobiu. So that's that's pretty good. That it, it's not some uh, yeah, product that promise a lot and don't uh, don't live up to it. You can actually find the scientific data about it. That I found that uh, very interesting. Uh, yeah, and uh, it helped me a lot with my um, my, my bacterial problem. And the way I did it is I yeah I did chloramine tea in five days and did a week of dosing this but I used a full dose every day so I got the uh, the good bacteria outnumbered the bad bacteria or the bacteria that was left and after a week I just used normal dose and that um, took care of all my fin rot and mouth rot and ulcers and that stuff yeah so if you got some problems like that mouth rot fin rot something mild bacteria like it will help get over that it, and i know it's this product is quite popular in denmark to yeah people use it to get a get rid of the bad bacteria and keep the bad bacteria away so yeah that was the first part the next one is this active biomix and it's a mix of uh, uh, the drum screen so just a sec So it's a mix of uh, photosynthetic bacteria, like you know the PSB bacteria from uh, Colombo, and uh, it got some lactic acid bacteria in it. But the main difference, different from this to other products, is that it's already ready activated. So when you pour it in the pump, it works straight away. It's just like any other bacteria products, filler bacteria. It will help your pump. And the lacto acid bacteria, if you start oil and keep it in check all the season, it can actually keep the um, good water away. So yeah. But this this is only a, it's a small pack. It's um, yeah I got it uh, from the dealer to test it out. But it's quite expensive in in big pumps. So and I need two and uh, two and a half liters every time. So it's two and a half liter every month month of the season. So it's quite expensive to run for me. So I used it a couple of times to try it out, but. In the long run, I don't use it because it's yeah it's too expensive for me. I think it's too expensive. And the next product is the mineral in one. It's just it's not just but it's a mix of uh, minerals that will help the environment in the pond keep your pH, KH, and GH stable. So. Over time, if you got plants and uh, yeah, fish and that stuff will take up minerals from uh, from the water, and yeah, your filters will take up some minerals, and and this stuff is to, is it's to replace those minerals. And you need is it? Let's see the dose. The dose is 100 grams per three three thousand liters, so it's not that much. Yeah, and the dose on this one, I got uh, 26,000 liters, so I think it's it's 100 milliliters per thousand, let's see if I can find it, yeah, I can't find it. Where is the dosing? Yeah, the dosing is here. So, 
100 milliliters per thousand liters. So I need 2.6 liters every time I'm dosing this. And this one, Bauview, I forgot to mention that. It's uh, two and a half grams per thousand liters. So one kilo is for uh, 400,000 liters. So that's pretty nice. The last one, last product is uh, the green control. And yeah, it's in the name, it's uh, to control the greens on the algae. Uh, blanket weed. So what it is, it's, it's a mineral compound, nothing, there's nothing toxic in it, it's uh, biological, uh, so, so there's nothing of those, zinc, copper, and all those uh, bad stuff we don't want in the pond. So and the way it works, it's, it's not actively killing the greens. Or the algae, it's more like uh, making a good environment in the pond so the algae don't grow. And that's actually, yeah, it's it's the same with with all of the products. It's it's not about you know kill something or uh, treat the symptoms. It's more like uh, make a good environment in the pond so all the bad stuff don't grow. And that, that is actually what I like about these uh, products from uh, Air Aqua. It's, it's more about establishing uh, a good environment in the pond instead of just say, hey, I want get to get rid of the algae, I kill the algae. It's more like making an environment that where the only the good things uh, grow. Yeah, and I, I got the yeah, just use this small ones to show you um, show you what it actually comes in these uh, vacuum packed uh, bags so what I do is I take one of the time put it in a, a smaller container I had from earlier and just use one bag at a time so I don't ruin the bacteria or they get wet or something like that but the minerals comes in, it's just a loose powder and you need, need to remember the lid because this will suck up uh, moisture from the air and the surface will get all hard. But the minerals will still work, but yeah, keep the lid on. And the green control is uh, a powder too. And the active bio is uh, is a mix in a uh, yeah a small wine bag. So you can just yeah push the button, push uh, press this, and it will yeah it will come out. So. I'm gonna dose this, just, yeah, I got it, I wanna use it all. So that was uh, actually the products and, and why I got so good water. And not the only reason, but it helps with um, keep the water clean, keep the, keep the algae away, that stuff. And like I said, I have never seen algae. Oh, length of week. Just the normal uh, algae that grows on the uh, fiberglass and and that stuff. So yeah, I'm a big fan of these. And but if you should choose one of these products, that would definitely be this Baubio. It's it's really a game changer. Um, and I see a lot of uh, people struggling with bacteria um, in, in you know, the simple cases like mouth rot, fin rot, um, small ray scales that get in uh, smaller infections. This, this is really a game changer.
So that was uh, the products. And something a little different. And that's only for, <laughs> for the people in Denmark. But I found these two. I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to give them away. And the only thing you should do is type um, in the comments below how many liters my pond is. And I will find two, uh, yeah, two winners. But it's Denmark only, so yeah. And I posted on Facebook as well, so it's already out there, but just wanted to, uh, to show it off. Everybody knows this stuff. And we talked about on the live that is it a large bacteria or is it, is it just food for bacteria? And in this case, I'm using it as food for my other bacteria. And I use it together with this. And what I do, just need to... I dropped it, I think. Yeah. What I do is I take um, an empty can. Yeah. I put some. Uh, half uh, half scoop of uh, Bao Biu in. And then I take the uh, Pure Plus. Just a little bit, not much. Fill some um, water in, and it ideally it should be around 25, 27 degrees, just to activate the uh, bacteria. And then a shake, and this mix. I, uh, every, every time I, um, I'm doing a filter clean, uh, this dose is uh, for my um, ground tank, I mix it up, put it away, let it sit for yeah, how long it takes to, uh, to clean my filters. And um, when I'm done cleaning my filters, I, I put it in my filter. And that will um, seem to help to activate the bacteria and uh, just to kickstart the, uh, the filter a little bit. So that's how I, um, I dose it. But you can take the bow view and just... You know, take a spoon and just... take a scoop and just throw it in the filter. Like this. And it will just, over time, the moving bed will absorb it and yeah, there you go. So you don't need to mix it, but sometimes some of the bags got some uh, big, uh, you can actually see some, some bigger pieces in and, and that's, it's okay just to put it in a container and give it a good shake so you break up all the pieces and before you pour it in. But yeah, and like I said, this video is not sponsored by uh, by the air aqua, air aqua, but it's it's an honest opinion, and yeah, I really find that uh, it makes some really nice products. And most of the products are actually quite cheap to use, but yeah, the only thing I found just too expensive for for, for me is this uh, extra view. I know it's 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 good stuff, but for my use, I will. Yeah, probably use, I don't know, 20 liters a season, and that's, I don't know, 200, 200 uh, pounds. So, yeah, it's it's pretty expensive. I would rather use that on, uh, on good food. So by all these products, you can probably tell that I like bacteria. I think that uh, good bacteria is, is um, overlooked, and they... Uh, they're actually pretty important in the, in the pond to establish that good environment about around the uh, decoy and keep the bad bacteria away and all that stuff. Yeah, we got some other bacterial and minerals on the shelf, but that's yeah, 
screw it. I'm going to show it anyway. So it's now it's not just the uh, air aqua air uh, air aqua stuff. It's actually all the stuff I use, and I use a lot of different stuff. And I don't use how to explain it. Sometimes I use this mineral mix. Sometimes I use this clay. You know, so it's it's. I add them regular, regularly. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I use them on a weekly basis. And sometimes it's, like I said, this clay. Sometimes it's uh, the mineral in one. Or, no, not, not the minerals in one. I use them like it says on the package but but all the I got a lot, a lot of different stuff yeah I use them yeah just on a weekly or monthly basis but a different between what product I use and yeah I find it it's working in some way I believe in it and that's Sometimes the, I don't know, the most important thing, and my my fish coil looks like they are thriving. So yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not stopping. And like I said, bacteria is it's really important to keep up uh, the good water quality. It helps a lot with uh, with the water quality, algae, wounds keeping stuff at bay, yeah, all that stuff. And this is, this is the best clay I found so far. I used the Nutramar one in, in a long time and it's a good clay. Um, but I just find that this adds, uh, you know, a more spark sparkling water, I, it's hard to explain, but you can you can see the difference on the wall. It's yeah, in spark, it sparkles in some way, shines like diamonds, and this we all know. But still, a, a debate about this because is it bacteria, is it live bacteria, or is it just non-activated bacteria? What what is it? Nobody really knows because. When you got the electro acid stuff, this, this stuff, if you put this out in the sun, the bag will expand and eventually explode because of the pressure from the bacteria. This one is the same no matter where you put it. So that's why I, I use it for, uh, for food for my other bacteria because I know there is some, uh, some food of some kind of, yeah, in it. Then we got this. I got this from a friend that um, didn't want to use it. it. It should be some. It's in Dutch, so. But I would say it's some kind of uh, filler bacteria, filler startup, and it's a uh, yeah, it's a white powder. Then we got the BHK from uh, Coire. It's a bacterial health powder. It's, a, I think it's lacto acid bacteria. Yeah, it's lacto acid bacteria. And this is um, also from uh, Koi area. It's the uh, crystal clear. It's a mineral mix. Yeah, I would say it's more like a clay mineral mix, but Clay is also minerals, but yeah, I use that stuff sometimes too. Yeah, and I used to have this as well. Of also from uh, Coira, it's uh, bacteria five dry. It's some filler bacteria, I think. 
yeah, filler bacteria. So I have a lot of different bacteria products, and sometimes I actually use used to uh, what do you call it? Brew my own bacteria. So you take container. I got a small container. But just wait, I will find it. And here it is. It's a what's the name? It's a bacteria activator. It's a fancy name. But what it is, it's actually just a container where you put the bacteria mix into and uh, the food source for your bacteria. You put it into this chamber that is uh, heated to 25, 27 degrees and you put the lid on and let it set for 25, 24, 28 hours or uh, 48 hours and the bacteria mix is uh, activated. The bacteria has multiplied a lot uh, and that's, that's how you actually can turn I think I have ne not tried it with this one, but actually think if you put this stuff into the activator and add some uh, water and I know there's fo a food source in here for the bacteria, but if you add some extra food for the bacteria, I actually think you can turn this as a, um, what do you call it? As you, you can take this solution and multiply it and make this two these two liters into I don't know 10 20 liters so yeah that good idea I actually think I will try it to kind of multiply the bacteria and uh, get a lot more out of it instead of just buying the two uh, the two liters pour them in and yeah what a good idea yeah awesome awesome Sometimes you just get good ideas by talking to the camera. Awesome. But yeah, I used it a lot. And it's it's actually pretty pretty popular in, um, in, in Denmark to do it like that. You can just take a bucket and uh, put an aquarium heater in it, set it to 26, 27 degrees, and put some uh, food sauce in. In, uh, yeah, I can't share the recipe, but that's another story. But yeah, put some bacteria in and uh, uh, food source, give them some heat, let them multiply and add them to the pond. Yeah, that was it for, for this video. I think I would, will end it here and leave the rest of the stuff for next, next week. And I might add in the uh, how to make your own bacteria. A short video just uh, from my just popped out wanted to do a video so yeah hope you enjoyed it and uh, please like and subscribe share if you find it uh, awesome uh, if you can use the information in some way if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and I will definitely answer them so take care guys see you on the next one